Hey guys, it's Naples and welcome back to our farm in Calmlands. As you can see, I'm on my way to the store with a little bit of straw. The trailer may be a bit overloaded. Yeah, I don't advise uh, doing this in real life, but yeah, we are safe in FS. The price for straw has currently peaked. I will show you in a second. Come on, you in the white car or you're gonna break, that's fine. So let me just get around this corner, then we're on a bit of a straight and I can show you the price for straw. Well, sort of straight, that's fine. Um, let's see, over here, straw 97, so we are above the max price, which is good. I want a animal dealer, I want to tag the place. I want to make sure that I go to the right place. Oh yeah, well, this is how we're gonna start the episode. We're gonna make a little bit of money because yeah, our bank account was looking pretty, uh, well, pretty empty. I did do a little bit of work off camera. I sold a few products. Well, I sold the onions and I have now set the greenhouse to selling straight away. Uh, okay, to the back. So no more pallets will spawn because yeah, I'm not in need of the products anymore other than selling. Uh, yeah, I can just make that turn like this. And I've also chopped down a few trees. Those are delivered to the sawmill. And we have also started the uh, potato pancakes. Ah, oh, we sold all but one. What? 22,200 plus 2,400. So that is not, oops, not bad at all. Let's see if I can persuade this build to go into the trigger. There we go. So per bill it is 634 euros plus 69. Nice. Not bad. So yeah, um, off camera the potato processing plant has been started with the potato pancakes if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, potato pancakes, they are now working. I've delivered two pallets of eggs. And I have also delivered a full trailer of soybeans, beans, which was 15,000 liters. So that is now producing the vegetable fat. We already had a little bit of starch. So yeah, I think we're doing okay. Now we just got to wait for the potato pancakes to be produced and then we can make some money. But the price is not good until August. So we still have a little bit of time. As you can see over here, the greenhouse, it's making cucumbers, peppers, and onions. And uh, over here, they are set to, over here, selling, selling, and selling. So no more pallets will spawn. They will be sold immediately. All right, I'm going to go back to the farm. I'm going to load up on the final straw bales. And then we're going to move on to January, I think, because there's not much else we can do in December. And we still have a little bit of products to sell, some oats and sorghum. Price will peak next month. Originally it would peak in December, but yeah, it moved it moved up a month, so we gotta wait until next month. Alright, here we go. We're gonna load the final two bills on the trailer. I kind of forgot that it's easier to do this in first person. Maybe that was the reason why I was struggling all the time. Yeah, like this, it is uh, a little bit easier, at least for me. There we go. I also noticed the uh, sheep. We have another 8 or 10 that we can sell. They are at their max price. Currently, they are worth a thousand euros each. Okay, now I gotta go external camera, because otherwise I'm gonna push the other bills off. There we go. Not bad. All right, this can stay here for now. And we're gonna grab the vent and we're gonna sell 88,000 liters of straw. Uh, but the sheep, yeah. As you can see, we have 10 that are worth a thousand euros each. So I think I'm gonna sell the straw and then I'm gonna load up the animal trailer again with eight sheep. And we're gonna sell those as well. Of course, we're also gonna buy eight new sheep. That's just to make a little bit of extra money. All right, here we go. 88,000 liters of straw. And 
PD700 plus another 950-ish. Not bad. All right, time to load up a cheap and get them sold. All right, here we are. We're coming up to the animal de dealer again. Only a different trigger. So, oh, I gotta make sure that I can make that turn, of course. There we go. So as you can see, these are 8,000 uh, euros each. So we're going to make 8,000 euros. Uh, let's see, I want to sell two of those. They were a bit older. And we're going to sell six of those. There we go. So we just made 8,000 euros. And uh, now we're going to buy another eight. Uh, let's go for the Black Wells Mountain. So yeah, we're going to go for these. And we're going to buy eight. There we go. So we're spending 39.11 and we just made 8,000 euros. There we go. So that is just a, a little bit of profit. 4,000, almost 4,100 euros. So not bad. All right. I'm going to take these sheep back to their new home. And then we're going to move on to January and we're going to start the next selling session. All right, welcome back in January. Good morning. Uh, I just loaded up the trailer with the remaining sorghum that we had. And we're now going to move to the sell point. And uh, let me just show you both prices have peaked. Sorghum is now at 1031. So that is one euro above the max. That is good. Oats have also peaked. Cooperative 1250, max is 1235, so that is quite good. So let's get to the sell point and get everything sold and make a little bit more money. All right, there goes the sorghum, should be around 8,000 euros, I think. Something like that. 9,208, not bad. No envi environmental score award, not sure why. I think that only is applicable if you're selling it straight off the field. I don't know, no idea. Doesn't matter, let's go load up the oats and get those sold as well. All right, here goes the first load of oats. How much? Not bad, 20,783, very good. All right, there's one more full load and then we have a little bit of uh, oats remaining. I'm going to sell everything. So this next load should be around the same amount and the last load should be a little bit less. Should be only around 3000 liters that is remaining. And 20,773. I think that is 10 euros less than the previous load. So I'm guessing the price is decreasing. All right, well, no problem. It's still a pretty good price. All right, I'm going to race back, get the final 3,000-ish uh, liters. And then we're going to move on to the next job. All right, there we go. 5,278 euros. It was 3,800-ish liters of oats. Not bad. All right, um, now we have a pretty healthy bank account. 127,000 euros. I do actually want to buy something, but yeah, I'm not sure. I do want to buy a different trailer. Mm, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that for now. I don't need a trailer just yet. It's going to take a while before the uh, canola is ready, so I'm going to hold off and wait for, well, maybe something will pop up in a sale. Who knows? For now, let's get back to the farm and we're going to do the next job. Okay, here we are. And as you can see, it's very easy to guess what our next job is going to be. That's right, we're going to create a new field. I think it's time. Uh, I mean, this land is just sitting here, not being used or whatever. It's just a load of grass with some weeds. We can turn that around and make a little bit more money out of that. Uh, let's see, make sure the allow uh, field thingy. Yeah. Allow create fields is turned on. Lower. And there we go. Don't want to be destroying the uh, the track. I think it will also look pretty nice if you're driving down this track. And there's a crop growing in both of these fields. 
Uh, I want to make sure I go a little bit more straight. Oh, whatever, let's just get going. New field coming up. I want to split the remaining part of this land into two fields. Why? I don't know. Just to try and diversify our crops, maybe. Something like that. Uh, let's see, how far can we go? I think this is a good place to hit the brakes. I'm gonna go back anyway, because... I wasn't going straight anymore. There we go. That's better. So yeah, like I said, the remaining area of our land over here is going to be split into two fields. I want to make them, well, approximately the same size. Uh, let's see, I could have gone a bit further. Right here, we're on the edge. So I think I'm going to go right here. There we go. Now, let's go in a straight line. This should be in a straight line. If you wonder how I know or how I can guess that, that's in the bottom left. You can see in what angle you're driving on the minimap. Currently, the first number, 180 degrees. That's how I'm trying to go in a straight line. Alright, this should be half-ish. Yeah, I'm guessing the other field will be a bit smaller because I think I went a bit too far, but that's fine. It's not like these fields are gonna be small. But yeah, the uh, degrees that I was mentioning, uh, it goes in increments of 90. Which makes sure you are in a perfectly straight angle, straight line. Let's get going. So now we want to be at 90. There we go. It's not very easy to stay on the same course, but... Because the tractor is bouncing and moving around, of course. But yeah, you can, uh, you can do uh, a little bit of correction here and there. And then you're going to go in a straight line again. Uh, let's see, I don't want to get too close to that field. I do want to leave a little bit of room so that we can turn. If I decide that is not needed, then I can always plow up that uh, small strip and include it in this or the other field. Alright, now we want to be at 360 degrees or 0 degrees. Alright, and we should meet up nicely at our starting point. Uh, starting area, starting place. I'm gonna go a bit in it. Make a turn over here, kind of like that. Yeah, that's fine. It's not perfect, so I'm gonna... Yeah, you can apparently use this plow in reverse as well. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I know I'm nit nitpicky, but... There we go. Alright, I am gonna correct this. I'm gonna do that off camera. And then we're gonna fill in the blanks over here. Uh, let me just put on our jetpack and watch this field from the sky. Alright, jetpack is on. Yeah, I think that would be quite a good size. Maybe it's the same as this field. It's a bit wider. This one is taller. Yeah. I think that's quite a pretty good size. Alright, lovely. Let's uh, get the jetpack off our back again and we're gonna fill in the blanks and create our new field.
All right, here we go. We're coming up on the final piece and we have a new field. Lovely. There we go. We are finished. Now that went uh, rather well. That was quite easy. Easy, nice, fast job. I do have to do a little bit of a correction over here because I missed a small piece. Whoops, that was the wrong button. I gotta unfold. And then we can lower. Alright, there we go. Now we are finished. Alright, we're back. After being uh, rudely interrupted by my computer overheating. Uh, I posted about this on my community page. And well, I've been doing some tests here and there for the last two or three days. I think it's been two days. Um, so yeah. We are now back. It is still the same video for you, but for me it's, uh, yeah, it was a bit of a setback. I have no idea what happened. Uh, as I posted, um, I started to smell something burning. And when I opened my PC case, well, the water blocks of my GPU and CPU were so hot that I could not even touch them. I burned my fingers almost. So, yeah, no idea what happened. After doing some tests, uh, after letting my PC cool down, of course, I did some tests and, well, the temperatures are still fine. Even now, while I'm recording, I'm checking my temperature and CPU is at 38 degrees and so is my GPU is 37 degrees. So, yeah, that is all fine. Those are temperatures we like. But yeah, no idea what happened. Everything was extremely hot. The radiators were hot. The tubes were hot, the water reservoir was also very warm, so no no clue. I really don't know. So yeah, I'm just keeping an eye on it. Hopefully uh, I don't have to replace anything in my PC, because yeah, as you know, it is a bit older, so that means that I would have to replace quite a lot. But yeah, I'm just keeping a close eye on it, still looking fine. So we're just going to be doing some... Uh, some, uh, what do you call it? Soil type. Soil sampling. I kind of got distracted again because all of a sudden a uh, farming simulator decided to minimize. So I was back in Windows. That was uh, pretty odd. I really hope my computer is not dying. That would not be good. Alright, well, so far so good. Uh, what do we have anyway over here? Okay, I'm expecting this to continue like this. It should go up here. I hope it goes up on plot number 29, the Celtic Lay. Maybe even that it goes down. That would be nice. But yeah, we will find out very soon. I think we only have to take maybe two more samples. Maybe three. Mm, yeah, I think three if we want to be uh, doing a proper job. Yeah, I'm going to be taking three. I know it bleeds out a little bit out of the circle, but not that much. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm going to take one more sample over here and then we are finished. Then we can send them to the lab and see what soil type we have over here. All right, uh, lift. That was the wrong button. Lift it up and fold it up and we can send those samples to the lab. Whoops. Now, I've also been looking around while testing uh, a little bit for different trailers and, well, maybe something else that I want to change. All right, a thousand euros. Soil samples have been analyzed. Let's see what we got. All right, so yeah, as expected, the silty clay continued on. The loam went up, so that is good. So I'm guessing the bottom half of this uh, plot is going to be terrible. It's going to be mostly silty clay and maybe a little bit of loam. Hopefully that loam will continue like this, but yeah, we'll find out soon enough once we start creating that field. All right, so next job will be to, well, move forward in time a little bit because there's not much that we can do. It's January, so we can't do any seeding or planting. Yeah, that starts in March. So I'll just keep the uh, animals alive. I will keep the productions going. Vegetables fed is still going. We still have three and a half 
thousand liters of soybeans. Uh, we should be making the uh, yeah the pay the pancakes. How many eggs do we have? Uh, where are the eggs? They are not showing, or at least I'm not seeing them. Oh, over here, two and a half thousand, so not much. Do we have any pellets? Yes, we do. Nice, lovely potato pancakes. Perfect. Uh, these are the fried potatoes. When are they at their best? I know I may have already checked this on camera, but yeah, it's like I said, it's been a few days. Um, let's see in April. So when we're also going to sell the wool, we're also going to sell the uh, fried potatoes. And the pancakes will be best in August. All right. I'm going to take a little nap in game, not in real life. And then we will be back ASAP. I think when we are ready to put a crop in that field over there. We also got to do that top field, of course, because, yeah, that is uh, just uh, sitting there doing nothing except uh, accumulating uh, weeds. I will think about it, which crop we're going to put in. Then I will be right back with you. All right. Good morning. As you can see, we are on our way to the store. And since I'm driving this tractor, you may already have guessed what I'm going to do. That's right. We're going to sell them. It's been good, but yeah, it's not my, uh, not my preference to have a manual gearbox. So something has come up on the sale, which I want to buy, which is a good replacement for this one. Uh, so repaired and repainted, we're going to sell. And we got almost 24,000 euros for that tractor. That's good. The one that I'm going to purchase is a little bit more expensive, but that's fine. Uh, let me just show you. It's come on sale. It's actually this one, the class. It has the base model of 145 horsepower, so that's already a little bit more powerful than Deutschfahr. But yeah, as you can see, we can upgrade it to 205 horsepower, so that is pretty good. For now, I think I'm gonna leave it as standard. Those look uh, interesting. Hmm, cool. All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna go for white tires. Why? Well, because I think they look good. We do want the front loader, of course. That's what we are using the second tractor for, mostly. The front loader work. So yeah, it's a bit of an upgrade. It has an automatic gearbox, uh, 145 horsepower, 50 kilometers an hour top speed. So that is quite good. It does have the front PTO. That is also good in case we're gonna do some uh, potato harvesting. And it can also do the narrow tires. So that is excellent. So I think this is gonna be it. 60,000 euros. Uh, we can upgrade it 165 horsepower, 185 and 205. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it at 145. We have a bit more money to spare than I think. Yeah, I'm going to go for this one. 165, a little bit more power. Yeah, like I wanted to say, uh, once we have a little bit more money to spare, then we can also always upgrade it to more horsepower, a bigger engine. And the other thing I want to purchase is a planter, mainly this one, 25,000 euros. We need 150 horsepower, eight meters working with, and it's a direct planter and it can also hold fertilizer. So that is quite good. So there we go. We have spent almost 100,000 euros. Not to worry, we still have almost 54 in the bank. So that is quite good. And let's get this bad boy started up. Noise. So yeah, I'm going to be using the planter with the uh, fan tractor, of course, because that is more powerful. That has 200 something horsepower. 280, something like that. As you can see, the planter does look a bit big for this uh, tractor. All right, doesn't hold that much seed. I bought two bags. Also two bags of solid fertilizer. All right, there we go. Not bad. Oh, I also need a weight for this tractor. All right, since it's a class tractor, I also bought a class front weight. 900 kilos. If needed, we can upgrade uh, this weight to 1500 kilos. But yeah, I don't think that is necessary. We're not going to be lifting 
that heavy stuff. The heaviest stuff that we're lifting are the planks from the sawmill. Alright, here we go. Claw's tractor has been repaired. The front loader is attached. And the weight is on the back. Performing very well. As you can see, I've moved uh, some pallets of planks already. And we have another four waiting. Um, let's see, the materials are missing. So I'm going to switch the sawmill off. Don't want to be turned on when there's no products to uh, process. Only going to cost me money. All right, soybeans are finished as well. We have 7,000-ish liters of vegetable fat. All right. I'm going to take a little nap once again, and we're going to move on to March. Well, good morning on this rainy morning in March. As you have... Or, as you may have already guessed, we're going to be doing some planting in this new field. That's the whole reason why we uh, bought this planter. And I think I want to start off with corn. I know we don't have a corn uh, header yet for our combine, but that's no problem. We can buy that later, because we're going to be making some money in April from the... Uh, from the wool, from the sheep, and also from the uh, fried potatoes or the potato pancakes. I don't know, one of those is going to be good in April, so that is next month. So for now, we're going to be doing some corn planting. Uh, let's see, I think we got to turn it on. This fruit cannot be planted in March. All right, fine. Then you can keep your corn. Then we're going to do sunflowers. That is fine as well. Lower. And let's get started. Here we go. Alright, so no corn, but sunflowers. That's fine. Sunflowers are nice as well. I think it would look pretty awesome if we're gonna have uh, sunflowers in this field and that field over there. With the uh, track going in between. I think that would look pretty nice. We may do that sometime in the future, maybe with corn. Some sort of a tall crop. I think that uh, that will look pretty uh, pretty cool. All right, but here we go. Tractor is struggling a little bit. We should be able to do 12 kilometers an hour with this planter, and we're doing 10. But yeah, don't forget, this is this is quite a steep hill, so many tractors will struggle. I think if we have a very big tractor with uh, four or 500 horsepower, then we will be fine. But yeah, that's a bit out of reach. But yeah, there we go. I can't complain at that. So yeah, the weather is terrible, but it doesn't matter. We can plant in the rain. Uh, let's see if everything is working correctly. pH is okay. Oh, that is not good. I should be... Uh, Increasing the pH actually. Oh well, then I will do that after planting. That may not be the correct order of doing things, but yeah, in FS it doesn't matter. Alright, well, I'm gonna get this done real quick and then I will be right back with you. Alright, here we go. We're already coming up on the final strip of the field. And then we have an entire field of sunflowers growing, which is excellent. I have to say this planter is performing quite well. It has a very good working width of 8 meters. And the tractor is holding up quite well as well. So that is good. Alright, here we go. Final piece. And we are finished. Lovely. Lift it up and... Hold it up. 
I have to say it's quite an interesting machine like this. It just lifts the entire planter. Rotates it around. And there we go. We are ready for transport. Perfect. Yeah, working very good. Alright, I'm just checking my temperatures on my computer. And so far, so good. I don't see any strange things. CPU is at 48 and so is my GPU. I've been playing and recording for, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. So whatever the problem was, I have no idea. And what caused it, don't know. So maybe it was just a small hiccup. I don't know. I will keep uh, monitoring it. But for now, it's working very good. All right, uh, we got to find a place for this planter to go. I think we are kind of running out of space here. Um, it is pretty wide, so I think I will need one free bay. Mm, the forge dragon is really not being used anymore. I think we're going to get rid of it. Yeah, potato machinery, I do need it because maybe I will do potatoes again in the future. Maybe we'll just have to build another shed somewhere. Don't know. I will think about it in between episodes because I think this is also a good time for me to end today's episode. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you did, well, you know what to do, guys. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.